first of all, I want to thank uh, Chairman Booker and Ranking Member Rounds for holding this uh, hearing. And I, I know that uh, these nominees have all served their country already, but I want to thank you for stepping up to serve again. Um, and with regard to Africa, uh, enormous potential, often overlooked. And so for our nominees uh, heading to African countries, we need uh, your U.S. presence there. I'm heading to Africa, to East Africa, mostly with Senator Coons in a couple of weeks. Um, and we look forward to that visit. But uh, there's so many um, questions I could ask about that. But I'm going to focus on something else, which is Mr. Fick. And uh, again, appreciate your service, including in the Marine Corps. Uh, what I'm concerned about is that we have overlapping responsibilities and authorities with regard to our cyber defense. And this has been something I've worked on for a while with very little uh, result, actually. Um, we seem to keep adding more and more top cybersecurity positions to our government. And the org chart troubles me. Uh, more importantly, what troubles me is that uh, without accountability, I'm worried that things will happen and it's too easy to point fingers. As we saw after the Colonial Pipeline incident, you probably recall, um, everyone was pointing fingers. So we have this top position uh, of the Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber already, which is obviously international in orientation. We have the Federal CISO, of course, at OMB. We have the National Cyber Director, which was established by this Congress after a, a commission report that indicated we needed a national director. We have the CISA director at the Department of Homeland Security. Um, one could argue that we also have, uh, at every agency and department, others, but in effect, they're reporting up at least to somebody. But your position that you are uh, being nominated for is a new one, and I think it overlaps with the Office of the National Cyber Director. Uh, the legislation says that that director shall serve as the principal advisor to the president relating to coordination of diplomatic and other efforts to develop norms and international consensus around responsible state behavior in cyberspace, end quote. So I just want to know from you, um, one, are you sensitive to this issue and aware of it? And again, as someone with a military background, I imagine you share some of my concerns. And I'd like to hear those if you do. And how you intend to conduct yourself in this role so that you can fit into this construct. Uh, Congress is not very good at org charts. Uh, so it really will be respons the responsibility of the individuals who have these jobs to work together and uh, to, to not allow the gaps in accountability, in particular with regard to the National Cyber Director's role, which seems to overlap directly with the State Department Cyber and Digital Policy Bureau functions uh, responsibilities. How would you work collaborati collaboratively across all departments to assure that we're not being dupl duplicative and ensure that we have accountability. Thank you, Senator. I, uh, I appreciate the, uh, the question uh, and, the, and the sentiment behind it. Um, I think in, in addition to my military experience, my, my experience uh, building, building and leading a business uh, instilled in me an appreciation for a clear chain of command, uh, an appreciation for clear and well-defined swim lanes, uh, an appreciation for accountability. Uh, and kind of a wry sense that it is always easy to add, but it's hard to subtract. Uh, and so I, I, I come to this role uh, with a, uh, a heightened sense of concern about the issue that you raise. Uh, and that said, uh, I've had, uh, I have a, a strong conviction that this role actually fills a gap uh, that has existed in our government. Uh, when I was uh, leading a business and working with the government in this space, uh, CISA uh, has a strong presence here. The White House has a strong presence here. The Defense Department has a strong presence here. And the State Department has not. And uh, I believe that diplomacy should be our tool of first resort. Uh, I believe in the intrinsic value of diplomacy. Uh, and so I think this role actually does fill an important gap in uh, the cyber and tech uh, responsibilities across the government. Uh, I have known uh, Director Inglis uh, and Ann Neuberger and Jen Easterly in different capacities for more than a decade. Uh, I have full confidence that we can carve out the right swim lanes. Uh, and I hope that as the, uh, if confirmed, as, as the inaugural ambassador leading this office, um, we could create clear lines of responsibility that outlive any individual. 
Well, thank you. I appreciate the fact you recognize the, um, the overlap and the potential uh, conflicts, and most importantly, again, just the notion that accountability is necessary for us to be sure we are covering our bases with regard to this growing threat that we face as a, as a country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.